Hi, this is Mark from Newsweed.com, and I'm here to give you the crypto report uh, just about an hour and a half after Russia has begun uh, to attack a nuclear plant in Ukraine. Uh, again, this is an industry uh, that might be affected by the things that happen in Ukraine. So let's take a look at some of the prices. Uh, Bitcoin is currently at 41501 so it has dropped actually uh, about 5%. Uh, since this event occurred, Ethereum is at uh, 2731. Uh, Tether, of course, is a stable coin, so it stays the same. Uh, Cardano is at 88. Uh, Avalanche at 77. That's been a mover up. That's down 7%. Uh, Dogecoin down 13 cents. Uh, Shiba Inu. I won't even get into the price of that because it's insignificant. Um, let's see what the movers are right now. Uh, starting with uh, the top movers here. So uh, things I've never really heard about. Goldfinch Protocol, 397. UMA, 997. Biconomy, Bico or Bico, dollar forty six. Aventus, 242. Uh, Quant, 123.23, up 5%. Maple, 123. 2396 up 4%. Assemble Protocol, 3.5% uh, uh, up at 4 cents. Uh, Kyber Network, uh, KNC, is a symbol, uh, 333. Let's take a look at this Goldfinch Protocol uh, at 397, up 42%. Let's see what it actually does. Again, there's a million of these cryptos created by, you know, a couple of young people. Uh, the stock, this this particular one, 84% buys, 16% sells. Uh, the volume is about 23 million. Uh, it is trading on Coinbase, so therefore uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good because uh, Coinbase kind of vets these people. So GFI is an Ethereum token that governs Goldfinch a decentralized credit protocol for extending business loans without collateral. This could be big. So this is like Square.com. Square will give you some credit. The token can be used to vote on the future of the protocol, and protocol orders can stake GFI to receive rewards. Uh, Goldfinch, Goldfinch protocol the past year is down 88%, uh, while the market is up 18%. Uh, it's currently at three ninety six, uh, three dollars and ninety six cents. It's moving for some reason. It just dropped a, a penny. Uh, let's take a look at its one year slide. So it was up as high as thirty three dollars. So it's one tenth the price, and you know six sixty seven. So it's fighting its way back uh, for some reason. Uh, tonight it's moving higher. Let's go back to the other. Uh, uh, prices on some of these other coins. Uh, Bitcoin again, like I said, 41,439. Ethereum, 2,721. Uh, what do you think I should buy today? Uh, if we look at my assets, they're probably down pretty good right now. Uh, and uh, there's an ad here to get Coinbase wallet. Yeah, I'm down about $700 tonight. Uh, you can see how this this went. So you have Gala, which is down at 24 cents, and you have uh, Jasmine, which is down uh, to about 0.015. But you know, when things are down, that's when you want to buy, and you, you might have to suffer a little bit. I think these are going to go down a little bit further, actually a lot further because of what happened in Russia. Uh, everybody knows the news that uh, these crazy bastards uh, actually are having tanks shoot at a nuclear plant. Uh, I mean, they've all suffered Chernobyl. Uh, if radiation escapes the plant, uh, we will have a major, major uh, problem in the world. Uh, getting back to crypto, let's take another look. Amp, uh, two cents down four four twenty eight. I see that Coinbase has these mostly uh, 
showing the losses. The champ coin, interesting. The champ coin is not tradable, but it's up quite a bit. And uh, I've always liked this champ coin, of course, because I'm silly and I like the name. But uh, it's got about 175 million tokens with a market cap of 2 million. So it's 0.0112. This is the kind of coin you just go in and you buy the whole thing. And, uh, you know, you take $2 million and buy them out. Buy all the coins. And then you start to manage it based on uh, a theory or an idea. There's no definition of what the champ coin does, but it's a product. It's, it's already made. The coin is made once you take control of it. Uh, you know, you can do a lot of different things with it. So let's go back here. And uh, let's see what is tradable tonight. Bitcoin is continuing to fall, just like I said. News travels slow, I guess, when you're out partying and you're a young man because you'd figure that, uh, you know, the Russians that bought Bitcoin today would be selling this off and getting into something else. Uh, let's see what we have smart contract wise coins so Ethereum is down 7% Solana down 7.58% Avalanche which has been a big mover uh, you can see the market cap of these you know 20 billion on, on Avalanche uh, $77 it's down to Ethereum Classic Stacks you know, this is probably where the future is actually, uh, where, you know, Cardano and Ethereum, uh, you know, Cardano is the second biggest with 29 uh, billion worth. It's a complicated world today. Anyway, that's your crypto uh, conversation for today. I'm going to go back and look at the coins one more time. Bitcoin, 41,371 and dropping. Let's see what happens. Uh, nobody knows where to turn when there's turmoil, but the best thing to do is turn right into the market because soon things go away. You'll see. Thanks. That was a crypto report for March the 3rd, 2022. I'm Mark Nedger from Newsweek.com. I believe in crypto. It could solve a lot of problems.